Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at a BJC Health Science past paper answer key. These questions are taken from the 2016 paper and we're going to answer questions number 22 to 25. These questions involve the blood and the blood vessels, so let's get started. Question number 22 says, the diagram shows a section through the three types of blood vessels. Which best describes the structure of an artery? A contains valves, B large lumen, C thick muscular walls, or D walls are one cell layer thick. So we have the diagrams here, that's the artery, the vein, and the capillary. So let's look at A. Does an artery, or do the arteries contain valves? Well, the purpose of the valves are to make sure that blood continues to flow only in one direction and doesn't um, move in the other direction. And veins will have valves, but arteries do not have valves. In fact, they don't need valves because of the strong pressure that they experience um, from the pumping of the blood from the heart through the arteries. So the valves are not necessary. So the answer is not A. B says large lumen. Well, the lumen is this section right here in the middle. And we can see from the diagrams that the artery does not have a large lumen. Let's look at D. It says walls are one cell layer thick. Well, if you look at the diagram, you can see that that is not so. The capillaries are actually um, the blood vessels with walls that are only one cell layer thick. And the arteries have a very thick outer wall, which are many cell layer thick. So it's not D. The answer then must be C. Arteries have a thick muscular wall. Question number 23 says, which statement best describes the function of the capillaries? A. Exchange materials between the blood and cells. B. Carry blood away from the heart. C. Carry blood to the heart. Or D. Carry blood away from the lungs. If we take a look at the diagram of the capillary here, we can see that the capillary is a blood vessel that has walls that are only one cell thick. And this is useful for the transport of substances in and out of the cell. So the capillaries function would be to transport important substances into the tissues and also to get rid of waste substances out of the tissues and eventually out of the body. And because the walls are only one cell layer thick, it makes for easy entry and exit of these substances. So the answer will be A. Number 24 says, an adult human contains approximately five liters of blood. If 45% of blood consists of cells, what percentage is liquid? To get an idea of what the blood consists of, you would put a sample of blood in a test tube and then put it through a centrifuging machine. And the liquid in the blood would then separate according to how dense it is. And what we find happening is at the very top, we have a liquid called plasma. In the middle, we have white blood cells and at the very bottom we have the red blood cells and so the red blood cells take up about 41 percent of the composition of the blood about four percent would include the white blood cells so that's 45 percent that leaves 55 percent left and that would be the blood plasma and so the blood plasma is that remaining 55 percent and that consists mostly of water also some salts and some enzymes as well Number 25 says, which component of blood aids in blood clotting? The options given are plasma, platelets, red blood cells, and white blood cells. As I mentioned just now, the plasma is that liquid portion of the blood. And because of the plasma, all of the other elements of the blood are able to be transported throughout the blood vessels. So no, that's not responsible for blood clotting. Let's look at C, red blood cells. Well, the red blood cells, they are responsible for giving blood its red color, and they are also responsible for transporting oxygen throughout the body. So the answer is not C. And the white blood cells, well, they are responsible for attacking pathogens and any sort of disease causing bacteria that may enter the body. So the answer is B, platelets. The platelets are cells whose job is to help with blood clotting. If for some reason you get a cut or a blood vessel in your body gets broken, the platelets then clump together to form a blood clot. The purpose of that is to stop the bleeding in the area. 
So yes, the answer is B. So that's it for this video. I do hope you learned something, but if you do need more help as you prepare for the BJC health science exam, you might be interested in our online BJC health science community course. In this course, we have regular live workshops, a library of recorded video lessons, all covering topics from the Ministry of Education syllabus, also health science answer keys, and lots of support and everything that you'll need to prepare for this exam. So until next time, happy learning.